Okay people, this is himself. Welcome back to another Tekken 7 Dragunov guide. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Dragunov's frame traps. So at plus one, we have one jab and bunker elbow. The frame trap here is one, two, one. This is a count it combo and it wall splats. But the tracking is weak and it is minus 14. So only use it if you have a hard read. The alternative is DF4. This will get beaten by jabs and sidestepped, but at least it's safe. That leaves the problem of power crushers. Since most moves activate in 8 frames, you don't have anything to beat them out. But you can use throws. These do have their weaknesses, but they can't be broken. Now if you're interested in these, then I have covered them in detail in other videos. So if you want to see those, there's links in the description. At plus 3, we have 4-4. Four, four. The frame trap here is while standing 1 plus 2. Just like 1 to 1, this will wall splat, but it's also minus 14 and weak to sidestep. Power crushes are still a problem, so throws are the way to go. Because you recover crouching, you have to forward dash, but you still beat them out. At plus 5, we have effort free. Now in the open, you get pushback. At the wall though, you don't. Because of that, the best frame trap is back plus 3. This is a tracking move and it wall splats. The only problem is it's a high, so to cover that, use DB21. This is weak to size at right, but covers everything else. The second hit is also minus 10, but you can hit confirm it. For power crushers, use 1 2 1. This is fast enough to beat them out, and since it's a count hit, you get a splat. At plus 6, we have running 2. Your frame trap here is DF2. This may be a launcher, but it's also minus 12, so do use it with caution. If you want to play safe, go for back 3. As I mentioned earlier, this is a safe tracking high. If you want to be riskier though, use back 4 free. This is a mid natural combo and it wall splats. The only problem is the second hit is high. As with effort free, your best option against power crushes is 1 2 1. You also have DF 1 4. This is also a natural count hit combo and safe. But the second hit can be ducked on block. Another move at plus 6 is back 1 plus 2. This is 22 frames, so it is a bit slow. But once people start respecting you, this is what you can go for. And the great thing is that if they just block, you can do it again. Now those are your plus frame moves, but you also have lows. The majority of these in Tekken are negative, even on hits. But a select few are positive, and if people don't know that, you can make use of them. The two that Dragunov have are 214 and F4D4. These are effectively the same move and a plus at plus 3. From there, your frame trap is 1-2-1 one, one, and for anti-power crush, it's throws. The only problem with these strings is that there is no mid cover, so good players will just duck or low parry. The third type of frame trap is delayable strings. These can be really good against impatient players and Dragunov actually has some good ones. One route is 3-1, both enders are delayable and can wall splat. But the mid is minus 12 and the other is a high. It's a similar thing with 2-1-3. The kick can splat, but it's duckable. A better option is 1-1-3. Here, the kick is mid, safe and splats. On count it in the open, it knocks them away and then you can set up a tackle. You also have DF-1-4. The second it can be delayed and it can splat. But as you've already seen, it's only a combo on count hit, and on hit, it can be ducked. A better option is F24. Here, the second hit is mid, safe, and splats. It also grants a combo on count hit. It's a similar story with DB212. The third hit will stun and combo. The only difference is it's minus 14, but you don't need a count hit. One move that I've purposely left out is back 4 2 1. On block, the last hit is plus 1, so you have a frame trap. But what makes it special is the count hit, because here you're at plus 12, a true plus 12. That means that 4 1 is guaranteed or a throw attempt. Yeah. 
The final type of frame trap is the reversal, and Dragunov has numerous ways to set this up. But rather than covering it here, check out my video on it. That will show you the properties and the OK. If you've already seen that, then check out my video on command throws. These are in the description and will teach you everything you need to know. If you've already seen those, then make sure you give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe.